I'll be honest, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you if it wasn't for the WDVA. Um, they saved my life. Um, when I got out of the military in 2005, uh, I was challenged. I had a, lot of, had, had, a lot, had a lot of issues transitioning from the military, and I was able to be fortunate enough to be connected to the WDVA, and I started receiving mental health services, and it really changed the trajectory of my life going forward. The counseling and wellness programs are actually a collection of really unique um, approaches to community connections for veterans, to meet veterans where they are, find new approaches to reach out to veterans who would otherwise not engage in services or um, engage with the community. Yes, I'm the program manager for the Veterans Training Support Center within Counseling and Wellness. Over the past couple of years, we've been able to grow into working with anybody and everybody who works with veterans and their families. So um, higher education, um, any veteran service organization, any community partner. Um, and we come in and we provide um, cultural trainings, um, suicide prevention trainings, behavior health professional trainings. So we're able to offer continuing education with a lot of our trainings um, at no cost to the participants. and. Um, and we're also able to provide trainings to the veterans themselves. So we, we do introduction to benefits. Um, we provide um, some transitional trainings um, and, and things along those lines to best support the veteran and their families. I manage the traumatic brain injury program under um, the WDBA and Counseling Wellness Program. Um, our mission for the traumatic brain injury program is to serve veterans um, that have suffered that invisible wound of traumatic brain injury um, and connecting them with resources and services that are a little harder to access. I'm the program manager for the Veterans Conservation Corps within the counseling and wellness uh, programs. Um, our mission is to provide self-directed connections to the lands, waters, and communities uh, for our veterans and their families. Uh, when we meet with potential partners, we share with them um, a veterans cultural competency training uh, to help them uh, serve our veterans in a way that's really meaningful and, and helps them to connect with the veterans in their community. So I operate as the program manager for the commercial tobacco cessation program. So, yeah, so our primary goals are to address disparities in community tobacco use and the services that are offered to them. And I'm the suicide prevention manager for WBA. So there are many different parts to the suicide prevention program, but one of the major parts is providing um, handoffs for veterans to community resources. So, um, in addition to that, they also provide community um, training on suicide prevention, um, just to what signs to look for and how to encourage uh, locking up lethal means. I work as a suicide prevention peer specialist in the suicide prevention program. I am the boots on the ground. I help do trainings for suicide prevention throughout Southwest Washington. So because we have these suicide prevention specialists that have been trained to assist service members, veterans, and family members, um, they can actually work within their specific regions and provide geographically relevant resources. Um, and it allows us to address many things all at the same time. So we can address food, behavioral health, and we can address housing all in one shot because our suicide prevention specialists are working within those regions and are knowledgeable about the geographical resources. I manage the Veterans Peer Corps, uh, as well as I work in the Vet Corps program, and I uh, host the WDVA podcast as well. Our peer mentoring training program that, uh, that we've developed, that we take uh, everywhere across the state of Washington with an eight-hour uh, eight-hour peer mentor training course and really the the building blocks of it is um, you know just having conversations and having that built uh, uh, that that shared experience of being being a veteran um, the vet program is a AmeriCorps grant that we started back in 2009. Um, I was a vet corps navigator at Eastern Washington University and then transitioned to be um, a coordinator um, and we've just continue to build and kind of evolve the program that are at college campuses to help connect veterans with their benefits on and off campus. But we've kind of gone into our communities as well and some of our veterans organization. If we're really looking at uh, you know, making connections, um, then it's not just connecting to the, the, the spectrum of counseling and wellness programs. It opens the door to connections to veteran service officers, um, other veteran services, housing needs, or you know, you know all sorts of different 
different programs, in addition to making connections to the federal VA for disability benefits, um, and not just for veteran services. So if, if the need is out there, we can help work with veterans to um, connect them to services that may or may not be veteran related. I so. think the WDVA's Counseling and Wellness Program, program is um, unique in the fact that all of our programs kind of overlap. So, you know, you can't, one, we're not so siloed that, um, you know, because you're seeking care under the Traumatic Brain Injury Program does not mean that you aren't going to seek care in um, our War and Trauma Program and needing a provider for counseling, you know, under that aspect. Or maybe you're a student and you have come in contact with one of our VetCorps navigators. Or maybe, you know, you're working, you're taking classes through our VCC. So, I mean, we all tend to work together. It's like a battle buddy. You're taking care of the person on your left and your right and on your six. And that's what counseling and wellness is. We are those battle buddies. We've got your six. There is no stigma about reaching out and asking for help when you need it. You don't have to do this alone. You matter, so we're here for you. The cost is free to the veteran, and um, the information stays with the counselor or therapist that they, that they work with, so that the, the information is confidential. The WDVA is an amazing opportunity for any veteran or provider. Um, it, it gives you a space to learn. It gives you a space to kind of get some experience. It gives you space to really jump onto different opportunities. So if you're a veteran, if you're a transitioning veteran, if you're a provider, um, give the WDVA a shot. You might find something in there that might work for you and it might open up some doors that you, you didn't even think were even possible.